BC here for Get Lowered, and I'm back out in my garage one more time. The bike is jacked up, the front end's torn up, and so it's time to talk about suspensions once again. You may remember that here recently I installed the progressive heavy duty springs in the front end of my 2010 Road King. What I was trying to do with that was to get rid of some of the front end dive when I would hit the brakes. And the springs really did a pretty good job of that. However, I will say that over a few hundred miles, I wasn't quite as happy with them as I should have been. Now, part of the reason for that is because it's just a spring system. And so a spring is going to handle your compression, but you can't really adjust the rebound on a spring. After getting some advice from people who have been riding longer than I've been alive, talking to the guys over at Get Lowered, and of course, getting in touch with Legend Suspension, I finally came to an idea that I think I'm gonna love. I'm gonna walk you through this incredibly easy install of a set of Legend Axio cartridges for your Harley Davidson. Today's video, this is just an install. I am not even going to attempt to review these things until I get a few hundred or maybe even a few thousand miles onto them. First things first, much respect to Legend because these instructions are incredible. They are highly detailed. They walk you through everything, including the torque values. And they tell you how to set everything up depending on your rider's weight. So that's a really big difference with the Legend cartridge or any cartridge system versus just a spring system like I had installed before. So let's take a look at the Legend cartridge. And when this thing ships to you, it's just pure quality from tip to toe, man. Everywhere that I'm looking on this, it's billet. And that's pretty impressive. There's no stamping marks, there's no form marks like you're gonna find on a lot of equipment. So that instills a pretty big sense of confidence for me. The other thing that I really like about the Legend system is the way that they do preload. And so I'm gonna come in here and see if you can see right there. Unlike some systems which have you move the spring down and install a clip or set a preload spacer into here, this is set up a little bit different. What you're gonna do is, depending on your rider weight, it's going to change how many times you spin this down and then lock it back into place. And there's a nice flat space on this screw to where you can see exactly how many turns you're going through it. I'm really excited to get these things onto the road. So let's get installing, and then hopefully I can actually get the thing out and ride it tonight, and I'll let you know my thoughts in, well, a few weeks. First things first, this is a little bit more of an advanced project than you saw in the last video. We're not just replacing springs, we're completely gutting the shocks and replacing all of the inside components. So if you missed the last video, go back and check that out. That'll tell you how to take your front end of your bike apart, and that'll get you at least to this point. Now that you're here, and you've gotten your caps taken off and you've taken your springs out and you've taken out all of the internal dampening of this, it's time to get started. The biggest pain in the tail about these is the six millimeter bolt that sits right here in the end. And for this one, it's actually not bad. If you've got an Allen wrench, you can probably get it out. However, for the other fork where you don't have the cutaway here for the brace and you've got just one solid piece with a hole straight down the middle, you're going to want a really long, really straight Allen key, six millimeter to get that out of there. While you're at it, head to your local Harley dealer, pick up a new set of bolts. It's probably gonna cost you about six bucks, but they're a copper bolt and a copper washer, which means that they're pretty soft and you can damage them really easily when you're taking them out, or they may already be pretty torn up. So it's a good chance to go through and replace things like that bolt or your seals. And Legend actually suggests that you do just that. Our next step is to adjust this preload. All we're gonna do for this is take a 1 8 inch Allen wrench. We're gonna back that set screw out. The instructions say that I need to turn this two times, so I'm gonna grab a wrench and do just that. We're going for full turns here, and I'm not sure how well this is gonna show on the video, but one side of that internal screw is flattened out so that you can pretty easily see when you've completed a full turn just by lining up your set screw with the flat part on that internal screw. There you have it, two turns and I'm done. So I'm gonna make sure that I'm lined back up. Again, set screw to the flat part of the internal screw. And I am, so I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this back down. So we've got our top out spring here. Now we're gonna take our fork and we're going to load it in kind of sideways like this so that that top out spring doesn't get lost. Now that we've got the cartridge loaded, we're gonna take a little bit of blue Loctite 
and we're going to put it onto our new copper bolt with the copper washer and then we're going to install that bolt down under the bottom of the fork and you should feel that grab if you don't feel that grab there's an alignment cup in here that may not be sitting straight up and down if you can look through and you can see daylight before you put your fork cartridge in then things are right so you need to make sure that that alignment cup is actually lined up and then we're just going to kind of finger tighten this for right now now you can see that we can no longer pull the cartridge out of the fork because it's being held in place by that bolt your torque settings on this are actually going to depend on which fork you have if you have a 41 millimeter fork it's 15 foot pounds if you have the 49 millimeter fork i think it's like 40 or 45 but again look at the instruction sheet the instructions on these are amazing our next step on this road to new suspension is to put some fork oil into our brand new fork setup so you saw earlier that there's a cartridge here and then like a spring down here uh, lower end of the fork. This actually already has fork oil in it. It's uh, some certain weight that Legend uses. And then they send you another bottle of fork oil as well. And your bike is gonna use a, a different amount of fork oil just depending on which uh, fork you end up using. So it's detailed in the instructions, again, like everything else, because these instructions are freaking amazing. And I'm supposed to use three and a half ounces of fork oil. Now, what it says here is to put your fork oil in, and then we're gonna actually pump the fork in order to drive the oil down into the cartridge. So I'm gonna do some of my fork oil here. I'm gonna go about half of it, I think and then we're gonna pump it and let some of that air breathe out and then oh yeah yeah definitely gonna pump this so uh you can't see it on the camera but i can see that we're already needing to kind of burp some of this air out so we're gonna lift this up here and burp this down into the cartridge and you can definitely hear it a couple of points First off, this process took way longer than I thought I was going to. I thought three and a half ounces of oil, it'll go in pretty quick, I'll pump it up a few times, and then I'll be done. I would probably say it took me 10, 15 minutes to actually get that three and a half ounces of oil in there. Go really slow, because you'll start to see oil come up around the top of the stanchion, and then the next thing you know, an air bubble comes up and you're pouring oil down the side of the fork. So go slower than you think you need to. Another thing, I would recommend that you throw on some safety glasses while you're doing this because as you're pumping the stanchion, and I'm going to do this here to see if you can hear it, you can hear that air escaping out of the tube. And that does mean that you've got some uh, overspray that's going to happen. So throw some safety glasses on just to ease your own fears and mine, okay? One part where I do have a little bit of a quibble with the instructions is that it says, after you've added the appropriate amount of oil, pump the stanchion several times. And basically what you're doing is pumping this fluid down and allowing the fork to work the way that it should. However, there's no real indicator as to how many times is enough. So I'm a little bit confused on that, but uh, I'm gonna say that things are going pretty good. I've got some nice firm resistance toward the bottom of the travel of this now. And so I'm just going to raise the stanchion back up here and start to get it screwed back in on the fork. There you have it. That is one side of my forks complete. Now I'm gonna to torque this down to, I believe it said 25 pounds. I'll check the instructions again on that. And you'll notice that this is actually part of the cartridge. So you're uh, doing away with your stock fork caps, just put them someplace for safekeeping. And now it's time to do the other side. The next step is, well, really just putting the bike back together. Yeah, that's it. This really is not a difficult job. As a matter of fact, as I said in the video when I just did the front springs, taking the bike apart and getting it ready for the replacement is the bulk of your time. So through the magic of the internet, I'm gonna put the bike together now. Done. Bike's back together. I took it for a ride last night, just a little one. I just wanted to make sure that I had put it back together properly and that it wasn't gonna fall apart on me. Uh, first impressions, and again, this is not a review, this is just first impressions. I was really surprised at the overall ride quality. I'm not sure what I expected, 
I mean, I expected it to be good because I know Legend. They've been around a long time. They do really good work. But it was still really surprising what I felt. I think the best way that I have to explain what I saw last night was it's kind of like my stock bike, but just better in every way. Whereas changing out for the heavy duty springs made a really dramatic difference in the ride and, and not in all good ways. Going for an adjustable cartridge based system, it was just night and day difference. The little bumps that I would hit in the road, I just didn't really feel that much anymore. And, and I'm talking about roads that are really close to my home, so things that I ride all the time. Uh, long sweepers going out onto the interstate. I just felt really planted and more in control of the motorcycle than I felt in an in a incredibly long time. As a matter of fact, I never felt that planted when I was on the stock suspension and I've put a, a good 10,000 miles or so onto this bike, so I'm really familiar with how it handles. Probably the biggest difference that I noticed last night was a curve that's just right up the road from my house. The sign says you should take it at 20 miles an hour. I normally take it at about 35 just because it's kind of fun. Last night, because I felt planted and I felt more secure than I've ever felt on this bike, I didn't drag floorboards, which is kind of a nice change because normally, uh, even at 35 or, or 40 miles an hour, I'm burying that front end pretty deep and losing a lot of my suspension travel. Legend has really done something pretty great with the Axio system. I, I think the combination of having a charged cartridge and then the truly adjustable preload on it makes a huge difference over what else I'm seeing on the market. I also think a lot of it has to do with the way that the system is set up. Instead of using a, uh, a, a little spring or a spacer or something where you're inserting a ring to adjust that preload, I like the fact that there's not any room for error on this one. And from what I've found, it seems to be pretty accurate. Maybe the suspension is a little bit firm at two turns, but I really think that I'm gonna get used to it. As a matter of fact, I considered pulling it off last night and going back to one turn just to feel the difference, but after hitting that last curve before I come into my house, I, I'm sold. I can't wait to see what these feel like after a few thousand miles. So whether you're on a great big touring bike like my Road King, or you're on a Dyna, or uh, any of the other bikes that Legend makes the Axio system for, uh, don't hesitate. These things are great. I've got a trip coming up here in the next few days and it's going to give me an opportunity to test what these forks are like underneath real world riding conditions that I couldn't really do in a 20 minute run at midnight. So look out for that. Make sure you subscribe and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, huh? I'm BC for Get Lowered. Check out the full line of suspensions for your Harley Davidson at GetLowered.com.